The scent of secondhand, how the smell of a consignment shop reveals a community's story. I walked into our local resale shop today and there was a clamor for all my senses. Shelves with signs saying knickknacks and another spelling out the items above were to be used in the kitchen, implying it was not well thought of to use them somewhere else. There was a pile of purses and bags, a riot of jackets, belts, and baggy sweaters, but other of my senses become activated in a resale or consignment shop. The most obvious is the sense of smell. A resale shop has a smell that sums up the community that contributed to the heaps of booty. It's like the zeitgeist of its health and prosperity. I have lived in Taos a long time, so sometimes it's hard to talk about things that exist outside our little bubble, but the consignment and resale shops I have visited in other places around the country have an entirely different smell. It's one of elderly caches of milk glass, pressed glass, crystal, and silverware, dearly departures and better times ahead. Taos resale shops smell of stubborn tenacity with high notes of fuck that, fuck this and fuck you, too. In Taos, the resale shops are eccentric at best and depressing at most. Everything is worn down to the nubbin. If an item is showing up in a shop that depends on donations you know there was a boomer somewhere in the valley turning a thing over and over in their hands, weighing whether it was so worn out it should be thrown away. But also I don't know, but I think someone could use this some more. There have been times I have walked in and seen things I absolutely could not believe. High-end hippie shoes, hardly worn, in my size and only $4.00 and an expensive leather purse, from a brand that sells for $300-$500, for another $4. There have also been times I have become so depressed by the pervasive vibes that I almost feel like I should take a shower when I get home. When the smell is not too bad, it smells like cash money, sweaty hat bands, and old leather. When the smell is bad it's got a reek that will stay in your nostrils longer than you could ever want. There's an extra sensory perception that involves touching items. It's called psychometry. Psychometry is the ability to perceive information about a person, place, or object by touching it or being in close proximity to it. It is believed that psychometry works by picking up on the energy or vibrations that are emitted by the object or person being touched. Psychometry is considered to be a form of clairvoyance, which is the ability to perceive information through means other than the five senses. In a resale shop, all my senses are pinged, including psychometry. I touch this or that and little flashes of the person who owned the item pop into my head. Sometimes I have bought items just because something felt so right in my hand. And of course, there have been times a person's whole dramatic life has washed over me as I run my hand lightly over an item. I'll snatch back my hand, shiver a little and move on. One time I was on the lookout for an old trunk or a suitcase to turn into a dollhouse for my granddaughter. I thought I found the perfect one only to turn on my heel and run from a shop because of what I felt residing or lingering in the old steamer trunk. It was a real find, and not very expensive at all. That touch told me everything I needed to know and then some. Bringing that into my house could have, would have, I am sure, resulted in some unsavory dip book box action, undoubtedly. And speaking of clinging spirits and lingering problems associated with stuff we pick up that belonged to someone else previously, I have a whole process for dealing with vibrational residues. Mostly, it involves a little stint in the sun and an invitation to leave, because I am not bringing haunted crap, no matter how craptastic, into my house. Yes, the consignment and resale business is a significant industry in the United States. According to a report by ThreadUp, a popular online consignment and thrift store, the second-hand market is projected to reach $64 billion by 2024. Additionally, the resale market is growing at a faster rate than traditional retail, with a projected growth rate of 11% CAGR, compound annual growth rate, from 2020 to 2024, compared to 3% CAGR for traditional retail. Another report by the National Association of Resale and Thrift Shops, NARTS, estimates that the resale industry in the United States generates about $17 billion in annual revenue. The same report states that there are over 25,000 resale stores in the United States, and the industry employs more than 200,000 people. Of course, these figures are from before the COVID-19 pandemic, and the industry may have been affected by the pandemic differently than traditional retail. It's still clear that the consignment and resale business is a significant and growing industry in the United States. There are things I have accumulated from this shop or that one. Some of the shops have been closed for decades now. I have quit grabbing knickknacks in those remaining shops and go for useful and specific items, like an end table exactly this high and this wide or a kitchen item for a specific chore in mind. I am getting to the stage in life where I've got to start giving away stuff before it ends up in a consignment shop, exuding vibrations of my life.